18 holes later, all square, it comes down to this 10,000 on the line. Time to clock oh, in. Right, so you can't have him in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Your breath is incredible. <laughs> 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 Mike sucks ass. So it's amazing to watch it. So we came for our morning Starbucks today. We've got our coffees and our egg white bites. But also, they car is on fire. Oh Lord, good God. The shirtless man's here to an arguing with someone. We need to get out of here. This is not how I want to start my morning. Why is the shirtless man still out there arguing? <laughs> get a little bit closer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the night shift. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. All right, so first things first, make sure if you haven't liked this video or subscribed to the channel, you go ahead and do that right now. Secondly, the tan buttery toast shop is still available. Shopthenightshift.com. It's only going to be up for the next couple days, so go get it while it lasts. So lots of... Can you stop making out with him, please? <laughs> so I put a Twitter poll out the other day. I didn't know if I was going to make a video or not this week. I've gotten like 52 weeks of consecutive videos out. No matter what, I've always clocked in. And this was the first week that I almost didn't make it. But I wanted to start by addressing a couple things. The internet is ablaze like that truck fire we just saw with stupid with little kids making comments about shit they have no idea what they're talking about. This week, since there was paparazzi pictures and videos involved, I wanted to clear the air a little bit. Long story short, yes, Lana did leave me for a five foot six TikTok <laughs> star. Fuck off, my <laughs> Off. Okay. Okay. Shh. Kayate. He touched my hair. <laughs> Everyone was drinking. I don't even know that I knew that he was touching my hair. <laughs> he solved all of this. I did not cheat on Mike. Mike might have cheated on me. No. Not okay. So then another picture comes out of a girl hugging me at a party that I went to a couple months ago. So I guess that's the thing about the internet. One little touch or like one little hug will start the rumor mill going. And it's just an indication of the maturity level of the internet. Also, if Amara's going to leave me, it's not going to be for a TikToker. It's probably going to be for some seven foot tall basketball player. Let's be be honest. Ha, 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 ha. There's even another one going around that there's a new video of Lana on the hub this week. The adult industry repurposes videos that have been shot a long time ago. She shot the video like years ago. Honestly, like it's just so fucking stupid. I don't even know why I took time in the beginning of this video to do this, but wanted to address it. Moving on! So we just went to Starbucks and Michael's about to have his very first puppuccino. Wait, puppuccino. what is it? Is it a liquid? Should is I it... open it for him? Yeah, can you pop it open? Michael, okay. what are you doing, Michael? <laughs> Is there whip all over his face? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> also, on my Instagram story the other day, you may have seen a picture of me hanging out with Danny Duncan. This kid is a rare breed, completely different than any other influencer I've ever hung out with. Doesn't care about networking, doesn't give a shit about who's hot, who's not. He's in his own league. So hopefully we'll be seeing Danny Duncan on the night shift in the next couple weeks as well. Michael, what's on mommy's finger? What? <laughs> out here on the course, look where I find these guys at the bar already. What are you guys buying? Nah, we're sober. Uh, just water. I'm sober? Calling, Who's this claw for, Kyle? Oh, it's been a five day bender. Are you trying to make golf cool? Like influencer golfing, golfing would you say? Cool, you think Steve will golfing. ever play? Steve's been on the course. Uh, yeah. Well, what about Jesse? Jesse, the one time I played with him, he's actually like fucking like really good for a beginner. Is he a professional skateboarder now? He's nasty at skateboarding. I'll take the fucking rink in the course. Jesse has the skating. Chase almost lost 20 racks last time he played Kyle. But I still lost it because I spent 15 G's on a jet for you fuckers. <laughs> I was hammered call. I'm like, get him a plane. Hey, you didn't pay for our chat to Vegas, Chase. So what the f girl? <laughs> Neither did you. That's true. That's a good one. <laughs> so we're going into scramble mode right now to get this day moving a little faster. I'm going to join Team Nelk, but these guys are about to establish the price per hole. So I mean, 10's fair if you want to do 10 or 5 or you pick. What, the bet? Yeah. I think Mike, you call it. Me and Mike are splitting it. What should we do? 5 racks? Dude. Keep it consistent with 10, right? Yeah. No, dude, five relax. Five. Yeah. He's hitting his ten drives, five. bro. Ten, 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 10 racks? No, I'm down to do it. Right. Are we going to win? Yeah, 10,000 10, Kyle, bro. Look at we, your fit. How can we lose with Mike's fucking fit right now? Between me and you, when Chase gets a little blitzed, he starts fucking, you know. So we gotta get him drunk. He's gonna be hitting Joe Biden's house up there. <laughs> Damn, great day for some cold beers, guys. We gotta keep cranking them. No, 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 I'm good. I'll just watch you guys drink. Maybe a shotgun for you, Chase, after this one, or what? <laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> Chase's first shot off the tee, par three, light wind from the southeast. Oh God, Kyle, you got it. It's gonna be a long game, bud. <laughs> All right, one hold down. We're up one on these boys already. I sunk my first putt. Mike just hit an absolute fucking beautiful roll right in the hole. Quick check in, bro. We're even. Why are you even. Waiting? Three holes left. Mike's playing fucking phenomenal. I will say that. 18 <laughs> holes later. All square. All square. It comes down to this 10,000 on the line. This is why me and you were fucking boring, Mike. Kyle! Let's go. Kyle! Right dead fucking straight, baby! And I was filming. This is for the win. Fuck. Oh, no, it's not just. Yeah! Oh, fuck, bro. That sucks, bro. 
me. What happened there, bro? I think we should go double or nothing. Double or nothing, Chase! I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yo, do I know you? Hey, man! Is that my old friend? <laughs> What's going on, brother? Just treading some water. What are you training for? We're just chilling. What do you think the end game is for all the chilling? Just, just to be in good shape for my lovely girlfriend, Josie. Yeah, 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 sure thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's lying to us! I'm gonna make this really sexy for the night shift viewers. I'm gonna add some music and everything. God dang. Bro, this kid is in incredible Fuck shape. <laughs> Dude, when are you gonna shave that beard, bro? Yeah, it's gonna have like cushion. Cushion, yeah, cushion, cushion for what, Mill? Just in case you get hit, you can take it. Get hit by who, though? That's what I'm asking you guys, bro. I'll shave this beard when you live in this house again. <laughs> bro, I live here, no, dude. Don't. I live here. I was just here, bro. No. I was with no, you one I'm night ago, with bro. Me for 10 minutes? Bro, all you do is hang out with Josie. That's not even true. I asked you last night. My girlfriend invited us to go pumpkin picking. No, she invited us to go to Haunted House, which we're going to tonight. Is that happening? Yeah. Alright, you may have or you may have not heard me say this before, but the night shift is probably going to become a food vlog. At what point is it just a food vlog already? I believe that's the point right now. There is only one meal in the entire world that is dictated by time. It is the iconic, epic, loved by all McDonald's breakfast. Okay guys, so I'm a massive fan of the pumpkin spice latte as you've seen <laughs> earlier in this episode from Starbucks. I've tried the one at Dunkin', was not as good. So the moment of truth, I'm trying the McDonald's pumpkin spice latte. And it really sucks. It's Can absolutely just... horrible. <laughs> We're not here to drink fucking coffee. You have a bit of a strange tooth when it comes to the McDonald's breakfast. All right, guys. First of all, this 35-year-old YouTuber right here is a fucking <laughs> idiot. People come to breakfast at McDonald's to get the flapjacks. It's here COVID season. What are you doing? It's my pancake. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Just instantly happy. All right, other than the people that eat pancakes at McDonald's, I go with the classic bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. But this one, for the people that can't decide if they want the pancakes like Amara or the bacon, egg, and cheese like me, this is a McGriddle. It's a mix between pancakes and a sausage, egg, and cheese. Wait a minute. This is a pancake top. Also, I'm not eating this one. Everyone knows Lana Rhodes does not fuck with no sausages. Babe, everyone thinks the exact opposite of that. What are you talking? Absolutely amazing. The sweetness rolls in with the salty sausage. Just a perfect, perfect craftsmanship. <laughs> but listen, all that shit is just fun and games. There's one item on the McDonald's breakfast menu that would be considered a god tier fast food item. It's the McDonald's hash brown. I tweeted about this. McDonald's actually responded. When done properly, this thing is like some sort of angelic orgasm in your mouth. This is one of those perfectly crispy ones where the oil just bleeds through the bag just a little bit. You got options, Jack Harlow style with this thing. You can throw it on top of the bacon, egg, and cheese. You can eat it on the side. You can just stick it in your girlfriend's mouth while you're filming. McDonald's hash browns are honestly the Lana Rhodes of the fast food world. Doesn't matter what competitors come, what newcomers come, who comes, who doesn't come. Guys, how are you comparing your girlfriend to a hash brown right now? <laughs> Guys, I really f with the McDonald's breakfast whenever I was a stripper. Whenever I'd get off work at 6 a.m., I used to come to McDonald's and it made me so happy that those old men were done touching me and I could eat my fucking pancakes now. Other than that! Other than that! <laughs> Are you done? Other than that, that is it for a very, very strange cluster f of an episode of the Night Shift, guys. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like in the comments. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Go cop the tan buttery toast at shopthenightshift.com. And thanks so much for working late with us. We are clocking out. Peace. Is that really what it looks like before you spread it on? Look at this side. It looks like a like you're doing some sort of uh, co Halloween costume. Babe, your face is a Halloween costume. Wow. Got him. Got him.